Hello everyone, my name is Marina Benoit. I would like to start with everyone taking a second to think about the last time they helped a veteran. For some of you, it may be recent, and for others, maybe never. All service members have signed up willing to make the ultimate sacrifice if it keeps our country safe and free. How far are we as a country willing to go to ensure that our veterans receive the care and treatment they deserve. Kevin Sullivan signed up to be in the military at 18 years old. He went to Paris Island at three years old to watch his uncle's graduation. This inspired him to be in the armed forces. Within three months of being stationed in Kuwait, he saw combat in the 100 hour battle. The Kuwaiti people upon liberation treated them like gods greeting them in the streets, and even handing them their babies to kiss. When he first got back stateside, Kevin self-medicated with alcohol to help cope with his undiagnosed PTSD. He has a 90% service-connected disability, meaning he's highly functioning. When he reached out for help, he went to the VA. He received the care that he needs and is now a psychotherapist that helps others who are in similar situations. I am so inspired by the strength and courage I witnessed with Kevin and the other veterans I met at the VA. Many veterans don't expect to see young faces and were surprised when they first met me, but it was nice to give them a warm welcome and to help them feel more comfortable and appreciated. I also assisted patients in wheelchairs and escorted them to their appointments. When I help patients to where they need to go, I get to know them a little bit. They ask me questions like why I volunteer and get to know me a little bit better. These types of discussions help to distract them from all the negatives that are going on in, the, in their entire world. I also volunteered at the Honor Flight and the Memorial Day game. I held a flag line at the Patriots Guard members rode, minor, rode motorcycles on the way into, into the stadium. The Honor Flight gives elderly veterans the opportunity to see the memorial that they fought for in Washington, D.C. The Manchester Drum and, and Bagpipe Group play while volunteers hold a flag line and shake hands with the veterans as they walk and board to the plane. It is incredibly humbling to work with each of these brave individuals, from my fellow volunteers to doctors, to their veterans and their families. The veteran community as a whole is so kind and accepting. Meeting all of these people has been a life-changing experience and has helped me become a more compassionate human being. I've had to have an open mind and had to have an open and had to open up to new people. It is hard uh, to volunteer at a place where not everyone is happy or stable. It really makes a difference all the veterans who do still have a sense of humor or still smile and it makes me appreciate who I am and grow as a person. Each week, I learn new things about the system and that really helped me connect to my research. Throughout my research, I concluded three main ideas. The Veterans Healthcare Association has many resources for veterans. Technolog technological improvements are helping the VA better connect with and care for the patients. And not only does the VA help veterans, but the medical field as a whole with new research methods. I strongly believe that with a few minor changes in the system, such as an increased budget and more use of intercommunication devices between doctors and patients, such as the My Healthy Vet program, would provide the best type of care for veterans. As many of you may know, there is a lot of negative press that surrounds the VA. Most of it is politically driven and from people who have never experienced any part of the VA. If you disregard these inconsequential opinions, the heart of it is getting the best care and treatment for the veterans. Kevin and all the other veterans deserve the best care. The VA is an outstanding system of thoughtful, dedicated individuals encouraging the same message. This project has reminded me 
to ask myself, how far would I go to help someone who has defended our country and fought for our freedom? Thank you. Anybody have any questions? Hi. Thanks.